Welcome to the 2024 McDonald's All-American Boys game. For the second straight year, Houston is where hype becomes legacy. And the legacy of this great event is all over the floor. Top-ranked Cooper Flagg, second-ranked Arius Bailey, and the rest of the best here in the class of 2024 are ready to put their stamp on a game filled with star power. So who will etch their names in history tonight? Let's find out next. It is time to write the next chapter in the McDonald's All-American Game, the 47th annual boys game. 24 of the top players in 2024 ready to compete here at Toyota Center, home of the Houston Rockets. And the number one player in the class, Cooper Flagg, is with Megan McEwen right before tip-off. Cooper, you've been here all weekend. What makes playing in the McDonald's All-American Game so special? I mean, it's just the environment, um, being around such special players. You know, it's a huge accomplishment for everyone to be here. So it's just a lot of fun to come out here and compete. What can we expect out of you and your team tonight? I mean, we're coming to compete for sure. We really want to get this win. So, yeah, we're going to try to make that happen. We're coming out looking for dubs, guys. Thanks, Cooper. Yeah, thanks. And as we check out the West starting lineup, and Bailey is joined by his future college teammate, Dylan Harper, the Jersey native. And the son of Ron Harper will run the point for the West. Trey Johnson, VJ Edgecombe, Flory Badunga, also top 10 players in the class, all in the starting five for the West. As for the East Corps, you got to love this starting lineup. Four of the five heading to the ACC. Oh, you know I absolutely love that. Two going to North Carolina, two going to Duke. But Ian Jackson was the star of the scrimmage. So the East in the blue. The West in the red. Last year's game might have been the most competitive ever. The East winning 109-106. DJ Wagner and Isaiah Collier were co-MVPs. Hardly, but Ted, let me tell you, it's the second most competitive game, 1991. Okay, no <laughs> that, 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 that's one. As Derek Queen gets us started for the top 10 players in the class headed to Maryland. The mid range to go. Ian Jackson has been a standout all week. Good finish there. Queen with the putt back and one. So a quick four from Derek Queen and a chance for one more by himself. Oh, he has that ability. He can do that. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> maybe in this game, but not in Maryland. Dre Johnson, maybe the best peer scorer in the class. The future Texas Longhorn puts the West on the board. And Dre to Texas. Now Bailey, number two player in the class, knocks it down for two. With that salvation the length and the size to make jump shots. Johnson the kick out to Dylan Harper for the triple. Son of the five-time NBA champ, Ron Harper. And he looks to the bench to many of his mentors along the side. Uh, former college coach at Link Academy did a great job with him on the defensive end and as a playmaker. Here comes Harper on the break for the West. Feeding Bidunga for the throwdown. See, Dylan Harper. Two. They are showing off his ability. He wasn't happy about the fact that Trey Johnson locked him up on a previous possession. Uh oh. Oh, Dylan Harper can fly. The son of the Ohio Flyer to the rim. Can you imagine? Here's Bailey against Flag. And a nice feed by Bailey and Batuga with another slam. His basketball IQ, Ace Bailey, it is growing. His career in this building also, who soccer created some great footwork by the name of a king, the dream, Olajuwon. Absolutely, as Bryson Tucker. Here comes Darion Reed, the Augusta, Georgia native. Eighth ranked player in the class going to Bama. And Reed does it himself. Eight Beckers and UConn, that is elite must-see TV. And of course, the most dominant team in the country, South Carolina, will be in the nightcap. Undefeated as Carter knocks with the strong move. 
Wade's committed to Washington at the moment, despite the coaching change. And now Carter Knox with the triple. Looking to make a name for himself following his brother. Kelly, one of the two moms that coached their, their children also. She coached Cooper with Maine United, and of course we know Maria Harper coaches Dylan at Don Bosco Prep. So we've got a that hit in 2025. Uh oh, oh, Ian Jackson got blocked by the rim. Four on one for the West. Oh, and DJ Edgecombe heads to the top floor. But how about the pass from Dylan Harper? Board set or in transition? But look about how it's a about give and go. Give That's it what it turns get into. It back. Absolutely. For all those, knew. Yeah, for all those young players out there, give it up, run the floor, get it back. But VJ knew absolutely once he gave it up. Captain Jack, as he's known, ahead to Isaiah Evans, future rival. Got his shot blocked. And Harper is there at the other end, rising up. How about the play by VJ Edgecombe? The VJ Edgecombe, the ability to be a playmaker. Cooper Flag drills the triple. And for all those who say, well, Cooper Flag really can't shoot it from the outside, doesn't need to right now. And he's taken a large jump in his ability from the outside in the last 12 months alone. Ian Jackson, electric. In our demonstration drill. Flag in and out this time from distance. And here comes Harper again. Oh, Cooper Flag sends him to his own bench. And that's one reason why he's number one in the class. And he had a game last summer where he had 10 blocks. He loves to come from the weak side. Look at that big paw from Maine. And that is Cooper Flag's superpower. What he does defensively, the dime right there, turning defense into offense. We saw the Harper over Bethia. Yes, and the foul. This kid just lives in the gym, and it pays oh, off during games. Coach at Don Bosco Prep, Maria played at UNO, the University of New Orleans. John Paul headed to Ole Miss with the hammer. Another oh, couldn't handle the pass from Bethia. Johnson pull up three, give it to him. He has an NBA scoring package. He's staying in front of one of the faster guards in the country. Steve Pfeiffer told me now he could be a switch defender big time. Watch out. Dylan Harper dropping the anvil again. That's why his That's ranking is going part. up. And especially when you got a name like Boogie, and if you're from the Bronx, you got to be the Boogie Down Bronx. You got to love the Yankees. And Fred's got another three. But he's loving it. And he's finishing right now in that top ten. That speaks volumes to his work ethic. Now the lob, and it went in. Did Flag even get a piece of that? He might have. He gained the lead. We always had the feeling this would be competitive in the East coming out in this second half, making it very competitive. Trey Johnson with the switch. He's in double figures with 11 block shots. We'll see Freeman later this week at Chipotle Nationals as we crown a high school basketball national champ. Dylan Harper's feeling it. A triple for the top point guard in the class. That's all, Megan. Thank you. I'm loving the shirt, too, for Ramika. That was made pretty quickly as Derek Quinn Derek scores Green. again inside that picture. Brother-sister combination to ever play at well, being McDonald's All-American. Sharif Cooper in 2020, not able to play. Jackson trying to shake Trent Perry. And Bryant might have affected the shot. Derek Queen. Yes, Queen. He wasn't doing that before he made the trip. Look out, clear the runway for Captain Jack, Ian Jackson. He just explodes in the open floor. Based upon his speed, his ability to attack the basket, going alongside, of course, Cosby Elliott Cadeau. Uh-oh. Now it's Cooper Flag's turn. Well, we got a Carolina guy attacking the basket. Now we've got a Duke Blue Devil flying above the rim. Here comes Flag. He gets out in the open court. It's over. Headed to Duke. Three Athleticism, dunks. versatility, high IQ, and he All plays these. shots tonight have come in rhythm, whether it was off the bounce or off the catch. I'd like to see the East get Liam McNeely a couple of shots, the best shooter in the gym. How about Trent Perry? Yeah, I can't remember a bad shot in this game thus far. I think God's doing a great job of taking care of their opportunities. Oh, John Bull stuffs it back in. Whatever they're scoring. We, they're getting back and out in transition. We are trying back on defense. We need to be the aggressors. We need to be the ones getting out and getting transition buckets. Well, instead, it's Ace Bailey. B.J. Edgecombe couldn't finish. And back to Quaintance for the jam.
How many have gotten back on defense in this game. You don't see that a lot in All-Star games. No. It speaks to their competitive nature. Trey with another Trey. Johnson with his fourth three. And Flag rips it down for the East, the number one player in the nation. Ahead to his high school teammate, Queen. Two more for Derek Queen, the Baltimore native, to Johnson. Edgecombe the offensive board. Oh, Trey Johnson with the hammer. <laughs> and Trey dunked on his teammate. He actually knocked Dylan Harper to the floor and dunked on his board. Ian Jackson at the other end. Trey Johnson was going to rise above everybody. Powell the steal. Smart play by Drake Powell right there. And Ian. Jackson banks it home. Jackson with the flush. When get front. Oh, Powell with space. Baduga the block. Flag. Blocked by Harper. Jackson for the lead. Yes. He's been training triples. But in all honesty, there are at least three on the West right now. Great pass to B. Dunga, and he smashes the rim again. Kyle deals coming. Look at, look at the way they're running their actions. The ball's moving side to side. Players are moving. And, and Jackson, Jackson puts it in. The East on top. Now play a big Jokic type center for Maryland. There it is. And Queen with the quick hands again. And Derek Queen finishes himself. That's his. Jackson on the drive. He's had a big second half. That doesn't drop. East up three, nearing the final minute. Johnson for the tie. He hits the bullseye again. His fifth triple. When you consider all these guys highly ranked and needing attention, but how well they played and shared the basketball. Queen, no. Fland, yes. Big time play by Boogie Ellis. Sorry, Boogie Fland. Yeah, I've been making that mistake all day. But, but you know what he did? That I loved, he moved without the ball. He went to the glass. He anticipated the miss. And now the defensive play by the East, up by two, and they've got the ball back. That's one we. All right, here's your review, Corey. Right in front of the bench. Let's see this. They said that this went off of Ace's leg. We see Cooper get a hand on it, but does it hit Ace's leg on the way out? Great job defensively by Cooper Flag coming up with the deflection right there. Well, how about the number one player in the country on his way to Duke? What have you thought of his performance tonight? I think Cooper has been spectacular, and he's shown off his true superpower with what he does defensively. That is Derek Queen's bucket. I'm not sure why that's a Cooper's highlight package. <laughs> However, I know why this one is. He gets to the rim, is able to finish it off with authority. But defensively, he's been a disruptor. We've seen him block shots. We've seen him get steals. And then the last turnover on the last possession right there, that is truly what Cooper Flag is going to bring to Duke, his versatility, not only in the offensive end, but defensively as well. And how about and into the hands of Flag. And back to Fland with 20 seconds. East up two. No five to shoot here, still no foul from the West. And they have to take a shot. And the shot clock. Jackson the off way off, so the West shot will have a chance two. here with 3.2. And a great job defensively by the West. Forcing a tough shot. Now I'm still an opportunity to be able to. Now, if I'm coach here, I want to get this across half court and call the timeout into the half court to call the timeout. That's what they're doing. They got four at the half court line. Edgecombe into Harper. And there's the timeout for Tommy Brackle and the West. 4.5. If there's a foul, try to go in the act of shooting. More foul to give for the East here. Johnson for the win! Targets and the game is over. The game in the hands of Trey Johnson. But Cooper Flag in the East are victorious in the 47th annual McDonald's All American Boys game. Trey a little further away than I'm sure he wanted to be on this one. However, he has across half court range, gets it to the rim. We've seen him knock down big threes here in this game, unable to get one to go to win it.
Flag and the rest of the class of 2024 shining bright tonight for Corey Alexander, Paul Biancardi, Megan McEwen, and our entire crew. This is Ted Emmerich saying so long from Houston. Now we send you to Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt. Scott, it's all yours. Brian Worthy, along with Joe and Terry Lynn Wooten of the